plus one. Plus one. Lalo na yan, director mo si Francis Raupinger. Nakot is ko. Samantala, ayaw. Rebound pinaglalabanan. Walang sumabay kay Umulan. And we push it up. Here comes Ross playing against his former team. Ha, 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 ha. Yakult slam dunk. One-handed version. And that is the importance of always pushing the ball hard. Down the floor right away. Puts pressure on the defense. Allows you to spot open looks. And Anthony Johnson, one of the best at getting second chance opportunities for Santa Lucia. Oh, we will see four replays. 4,000 replays of that. Here's the bid. His intended back pass. Anticipated by Ross and we're rushing to the other side. Santa Lucia with a chance to grab the lead. Escobar goes to Ross. Ross won't fire from a far. He caught the inside. Peak against the glass. Too strong. Robalon underneath. Still nothing there. Here comes Johnson. This is the way to do it, he says, but still no ball. Ah, here comes Williamson. Three on one being fashioned out. Makapangal with stretch. And Santa Lucia had four possessions. They couldn't score. Tukukola only needed that layup by Makapagal to push their lead once again to two points. And then sinabi kanina na Chiki, transition defense is going to be so important for Santa Lucia against the attacking mode of Coca-Cola. Would have been the first taste of the lead by the Realtors as they scored on those four opportunities. Here comes Speak with a shot bombing clock coming down to four. Escobar with a near high stand, a foul. Santa Lucia has gone to Alipik down low for about four or five times. Alipik not shooting well from the outside. But still Santa Lucia trying to go for better shot selection. Sabi natin, 456 total three-point attempts over the last 18 games for the Realtors. Watch this, Yakul slam dunk. Follow-up version, one-hander. Second team foul of Santa Lucia just called off that first foul of Escobar. The ball will go to Santa Lucia in the sequence. This is the type of uh, on-the-ball pressure that Coach Boyet Fernandez really demands from his lineup. Trying to force turnovers, trying to secure more possessions with aggressive defense, playing the passing lanes. Three twenty-four to go. Dies in the game for the first time. So is Don Belbilano. That shot a little too strong. Sobra sa pectus. Peak. Sobra sa pectus. And the basket scored by Ross. Chris Ross too. Just hovering around the basket. And uh, really one of the better rebounding point guards in the league right now. We're in our third deadlock. Ross starting his takeoff. But the ball is grabbed from him. Mendoza says, I know how to shoot this. But can't make it on this turn. Asitao Lava tracks it down. David, and there's congestion on the left flank. That's why Mendoza will bring it over to the other side for balance. And Ross guilty of a pesky defensive hand. I feel that uh, Chris Ross can be a lockdown defender for the small men of the opponent. And uh, let's see if Coach Boyd Fernandez will utilize Chris Ross in this position. I'm not taking back the moment. Back to the PDA on Solar TV. Leah Cruz here taking care of things at courtside for the Coca-Cola Tigers. Now, before the game, Coach Paul Fedesol actually wrote on the whiteboard in the Coca-Cola dugout, wanted rebounders. So, yes, rebounding will be a key to their winning this ball game. Aside from that, they also want to defend Anthony Johnson as a team, according to Coach Paul. AJ is the type of player that you need to put more than one guy on. So they really have to be aware of where he is at all times during the game. Also, they want to mix up their offense. Everyone knows that their strength is at the post and they're expecting them to pull that off in this ball game. So they want to change up their attack. They want to go for fast breaks and outside shots. So they set a minimum of 20 fast break attempts. Seven, Ronnie. Ah, uh, Delia, this is that time of the year. Uh, wild card, wider finals where coaches cannot understand why they cannot get any more rebounds than they normally have. They want every possession. And sometimes they just present the numbers to the players just to be able to motivate the players to try and race whatever weaknesses that they have had over the last 18 games. Johnson with a rebound. Milano wide open, 17-footer. Can't drill it in. He stopped. And that's not normally his shot when he stops. And how many times do you get an open look? You have to bury that basket. Don Ben Milano has that shot in his offensive arsenal. Has not been getting that many minutes in play, so confidence 
Might be a thing as Williamson drills in that slap, Yakult slam dunk. He has four points in this game. Coca-Cola in the lead by two. Help side, last line defender along the baseline did not show up. And Williamson gets his fourth point of the game for the Coca-Cola Tigers. So the imports are tied in the number of dunks so far. In the meantime, a heist, a grab from behind Coca-Cola. Number one team in steals. Makapagal, that one a little too strong. Rebound, battle, Ross wins out. Coming down to 127. Delano says, let's run a play. Johnson looking inside. Clocked out to seven seconds. Dundon says, let me tie a three. No, sir, Taulaba is there. The scoop pass. Recovered. Excellent entry pass by Paulo Mendoza. Chris Ross tried to provide help, but Williamson recovered to score a six point of the first quarter. Four point margin for the Coca Cola Tigers. Johnson. Ooh, the point guards, the guards are fouling people in the three-point zone. Second time in the quarter for the Tigers to give up a foul. With the shooter taking the shot from the three. Yakult slam dunk. This is uh, Williamson's version on the other side. By the way, don't forget we've been showing you the graphic of our Boxing at the Bay uh, 4 unbreakable uh, promotion that will feature Brian the... Hawaiian Punch Viloria going up against Omar Soto Saturday, July 10 at the United Sports Arena at 5.30 p.m. as the announced start. Co-main event will be Al Sabahupan versus Wanchi Twins Jim fighting for the IBF Pan Pacific Championship title. And tickets are available at Ticketnet and Ticket World, of course. Anthony Johnson has gone to the line 187 times for the Realtors. Close to 80% accuracy from that area. Here we go with Asi Taulava. 33 seconds remaining. Open shot. Two out of three from three-point country by Makapagal, ESA. Somehow you have to make the decision whether or not to apply the help. On the big eyes of the Tigers, they're just baiting the help side defense to collapse and then kick it out to the shooters. So found their mark here in the first for the Tigers. Bonbon Custodio sent it over to Johnson. I think the question we should ask Johnson, do you want to go home already or not? Uh, that might be the question. Johnson, awkward shot. And here comes Williamson, but this first quarter is over. Shot from the perimeter in the first quarter. Also had several conversions from the three-point area in the yep. first period. And we'll try to get to into the minds of the coaches and the players uh, during the break. And we'll listen to our teammates tell us all about it in a short while. Wild card continues, and those who are strong will survive. The losers will have to have another schedule. Nagbabalik po ang PBA dito sa Big Dome and I'm with the assistant coach of Santa Lucia, Coach Adonis Tierra. Coach, in the first quarter, Santa Lucia shot 5 of 22 from the floor. Mukhang uh, inaalat po tayo sa shooting natin. Ano pong uh, adjustments on offense ang gagawin sa second quarter? Alam mo, dumadating talaga niya sa offense yun. No? For the past uh, five days in Sion, ay maganda naman. Siguro makapag-adjust kami itong second half namin. Yung guards po ng coach, si David, makapagal tsaka si Cruz combined for 18 points in the first quarter. Ano pong defensive adjustments naman ang gagawin ninyo dito sa mga guwadya ng Coca-Cola? Basically, kasama sa game plan namin yun. Kasi mag-double kami sa post. Ang uh, utos ni coach doon, ang uh, game plan namin doon, stick lang kami doon sa wing, wing nila. Thank you very much, Coach. Sam? And the wings have delivered so far for Coca-Cola, giving them a four-point lead. But, uh, of course... We are aware that Santa Lucia is aware of the predicament they're in with those wings. By the way, Urbistondo already in the game. Custodia's first long attempt. No, sir. And uh, we'll try to fix Ronnie Muxanov's microphone. He's, he looks like he's in a silent movie right now. In the meantime, um, try it, Ronnie. Yon, you're there. Missing. You're there. A three-point shot for Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola shot about 59% from the field in the first period. 